arrive just in time to catch the 6am ferry that will take us from Wellington on the North Island to Picton on the South Island. Me at all. Do you think about the things we used to do? No, you couldn't stand tall. So why didn't you, why didn't you call? So many years has gone by But I think about you, about you all the time Looks like you're changing and all But why didn't you, why didn't Once parked up, we head for the captain's lounge This was well worth the extra charge as it included drinks and food throughout the journey from the boat as we sailed through the Cook Strait were absolutely amazing. Do you miss me at all? Do you think about the things we used to do? No, you couldn't stand tall. So why didn't you, why didn't you call? So many years has gone by But I think about you, about you all the time The crossing like was very smooth and as we arrived in Picton the weather you, was beautiful Super excited to be arriving in Blenheim as it is the capital of the Marlborough wine region which is our absolute favourite. So we quickly parked up and headed straight on to an organised wine tasting tour. The Marlborough wine region is by far New Zealand's largest, accounting for three quarters of the country's wine production. The biggest percentage of the vineyards are concentrated around the Blenheim and Sedon townships. Internationally, Marlborough Sauvignon Blanc is recognised as world class and many wine writers have described it as the best in the world. After meeting some lovely people and tasting some fine wines, it was time to head home and rest as we had a long drive scheduled for the next day.
had initially planned on travelling all the way to Christchurch before taking a break on her journey to Lake Bukake, but thankfully decided to stop at Kaikoura to take in a whale watching tour which was fantastic. From the boat we saw albatross, dusky dolphins, seals and whales. What an incredible trip. This stretch of coastal road had been severely damaged during an earthquake in 2016 where the 7.8 magnitude quake lifted the seabed by 2 metres along a 20 kilometre stretch and in one area the uplift was a remarkable 5.5 metres. It took two years to rebuild the road causing all sorts of problems for the residents in the north of the island whenever they had to travel to Christchurch, the island's biggest city, as the detour through the heart of the island added almost a couple of hours to the trip. We bypassed Christchurch and headed straight for our free camping spot at Lake Pukake, which was just perfect. These free and legal camping spots are dotted all over New Zealand and are just incredible. UK, take note. morning, on our way to Queenstown, we stopped off at Mount Cook National Park to take some photographs of the magnificent scenery.
So guys, thanks for watching part one of our New Zealand trip. In the next video, we travel to Queenstown and Milford Sound, which was our favourite part of New Zealand. Sometimes we try to be cool, not being givers, only takers. If you liked the video, it would be appreciated if you could click the like button, subscribe and hit the notification bell as that will help our channel grow on YouTube. And remember, live today like there could be no tomorrow.